Hello, my name is Jorge de la Cruz and I'm a senior systems engineer here at Veeam. Today, I have a quick video about how to unleash the full capabilities of the restore of Veeam Backup for Office 365. We actually have a really nice, um, a really nice image with 40 uh, recovery options um, in the Impact for Microsoft Office 365. We do not have probably enough time to cover the 40 different scenarios, um, but I just wanted to show you uh, this image over here. You can find it as well on uh, on our website. And uh, well, you can see uh, we have different sections. So we have the exchange online and exchange on premises, and the usual, of course, uh, restore to uh, restore an exchange item, whatever that is, uh, like a calendar appointment, and an email, uh, folders, well, anything back into the, the production environment or back into production, but into a different user, for example, save it as a .pst, of course, the, the standard for, uh, for Outlook. Um, and so on and so forth. You can see there the uh, all the capabilities that we have. Then if we move into the OneDrive for Business, probably pretty delicate because of course they will be just flat files and uh, which they are connected to a computer. And usually that computer, it can be exposed. We are we all are working from home or uh, we have been working from, uh, from home uh, over the last year. And we know the challenges. We know that uh, well, we have uh, we might have kids and, and then they just might, uh, might plug some, some USB uh, that we don't know the, the, the source. And then yeah, some, some stuff can happen into the computer and of course that will encrypt or destroy or whatever will happen with the um, uh, with anything that they can find on C drive so for example that will be the OneDrive for business uh, in the case that you have it sync you will see how all your files become encrypted on, on prem on your own computer and if you try to log in into the office 365 that will be still be the same so that's another use case to, to bear in mind. Then if we move into the SharePoint Online or SharePoint on-premises, on that's exactly the same. Because usually a lot of users, they consume the SharePoint Online or well, the, the SharePoint site uh, over the web browser, and that's perfectly fine. But some other more advanced uh, users, specifically when you have a, a, a ton of uh, documents over there on the SharePoint site, they might have connected that SharePoint site or that specific folder inside the SharePoint site into their own computer for, uh, of course, to work with the documents much, much easier. And that will uh, present the exact the same problems um, that we mentioned before. They might be encrypted, they might be, uh, they might be corrupted, they might be, they might be deleted. And of course, everything that it happens within your own computer in those paths that they are synchronized with SharePoint, um, at the end, everything will happen on the SharePoint as well. So another colleague, uh, for example, in, uh, in Manchester, um, will see those files and they it will try to access and it will say like, what's happening here? They, 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 they really, really weird. And of course, it's because they uh, have been encrypted. So. That's another another thing that you can restore from uh, being backup for Office 365. And finally, Microsoft Teams. Uh, not much, uh, not not many other products. They have these deep capabilities within Microsoft Teams. So of course, you can just restore uh, the, the, the full team site. You can restore to, to the original location. You can export the post at, as at, uh, HTML. Um, just restore just the permissions of the SharePoint uh, of the Microsoft Teams, for example, and so on and so forth. So. These 40 scenarios, they are uh, they're really good, they're really powerful. And of course, um, I mean, if we just talk about backup, you are, you are going to find a, a wide range of products that they can do backup. But when you're trying to do restore of your uh, software as a service, of your uh, Office 365, you might find that that's where the difference came uh, because some of the products, they might be more limited when um, when trying to restore. So we have these 40 and uh, hopefully do, do, uh, within the next version, we will have more uh, options. And I just wanted to cover a few of them now within the lab, within the demo. So you see it with your own eyes, the most common use case. So, okay. So this is our Veeam Backup for Microsoft Office 365 console, which is really, really simple. And then you can see here on the left, the different organizations in the case that you have uh, different tenants or different subtenants. You can see them, uh, you can see all of them here. 
on my case, for example, I'm just going to show you the my own tenant, uh, my Jorge de la Cruz dot Microsoft.com. I do have a different jobs here for my exchange items, for the OneDrive, for the SharePoint teams, and even uh, like a test a test job over here. So let's yeah let's think for a moment that of course uh, once again I'm just talking about about kids because I have kids as well. So they just uh, came to your computer, you were just having having a coffee, and then they just smash the computer with all look open, and then something absolutely random might happen. So emails that have been deleted, uh, emails that have been moved to another folder, uh, well, anything, folders gone, uh, contacts that they might, they might be gone, and so on and so forth. So, yes, let's think that for a minute that uh, we have a, a colleague on the phone that they told us they just had this specific problem and you're trying to uh, to restore back um, any any of that. So let's, so let's show you the different options. So the first one, we are going just to open the point in time that we want because this backup is forever incremental. If we open the latest point in time, it might be fine. And of course, the latest point in time, it was just at 5 p.m., so four minutes ago. Really, really recent backup. So we can um, we can uh, tell to the, to the user to relax because we are going to find everything that did happen within um, his or her, uh, her mailbox. So let's, let's go over here. Imagine that this Jorge de la Cruz who is calling and uh, let's go ahead and, you know, let's go and delete some random stuff from here. Oh, I don't know, everything from today, just as an example. So I go here, I delete it once again. I'm, go I'm just going to the even deleted items. I'm going to delete everything. Uh, so I'm going to empty this folder and then everything is gone. Yes. Once again, imagine that this is the... Uh, your kid is massing the computer. Once again, the user is completely desperate because something is missing, something is not quite right. Doesn't have an email from uh, since yesterday, which is quite weird because, of course, uh, but you should have like a less 10, 20, 50 emails uh, every day. So, anyways, let's, let's go just uh, go here into inbox. What we can do is just compare with production, which is one of my favorite options. So what we are do going to do here is just introduce the service, um, uh, the service desk um, credentials. In this case, I'm just going to use my uh, my own account, and then after this goes validated with Office 365, so the change items only. This is absolutely one of the best options that uh, the Beam Backup for Office 365 has and specifically the Explorers. So you can see right now, you can just tell to the user uh, within, I don't know, it was maybe five seconds. You can say back to the user, yes, I can see that seven items had been uh, well deleted or moved. So maybe you might have them onto another folders or they might be completely deleted. Do you want them back? And probably the user is going to uh, is going to tell you yes, please just put them back if you can. So you can just go on here, and they will they will go. These items will go to wherever they were. So in this case, it is inbox. So they will go directly into inbox. So let me click on here, and if I minimize here and I go into the inbox, we shall see. Hey, there you go. We almost missed it, but we saw the emails coming back into the into the inbox in. Um, in pretty much real time. So if we go back into the product, we can see that the seven items had been uh, restored. Okay, so that was really, really nice. Another option uh, back from the days where, uh, well, where I was a uh, Lotus Notes admin, it was uh, the users they wanted just, or just by policy, you can just restore the items into a specific folder, which they can be restore, or the, which they can be, I don't know, uh, test restore, for example, video restore, let's call it video restore. So you can just, as a backup admin, you can go on here, go next, uh, let's use that service account once again, so if I go into next to the following folder, which I do not have, so I will just call it video 2021 restore. And if I go back here, I'll show you that I do not have any video 2021 restore at all. It's not even here, that folder. So you can see how powerful all of this is. So I go next. Now, is, this is really interesting. It's going to ask me about the change items or missing items. Mark, mark restore items as unread which probably it's uh, is ideal. So we can just click Restore. 
and then once again if we go on here the folder hey, the folder is here and in real time you can see that the items they were here and they were restored so we almost pretty much miss it because it's this so so fast the restores that we almost miss it just by doing one click within milliseconds but anyways the user now it has all the items that they've been deleted or moved just here within um within seconds that's perfectly fine what about if the if that's not what the user is uh, is looking for what about if uh, the user it tells you some specific keyword some specific subject for example that they might remember so you can use the advanced fine um, and of course this can be as gran granular and as detailed as uh, well as the usual exchange advanced fine that uh, you might be used to so as a backup admin, you go on here, I think because we want a uh, mail fields, right? Uh, metadata. So we go on here and then within the subject or in the message, as, let's just start by the subject because once again, the user is tell us that uh, it was something that uh, he or she remembers from the subject. Let's say, for example, VMware. Um, I'm pretty sure you can add different criteria into the search uh, as many as you want. I'm just going to run with one and then we can click start. So if I click start, everything within inbox from this specific user, Jorge de la Cruz, uh, where the subject contains VMware, doesn't need to be specific that, it just contain, uh, contains the word uh, VMware. So yeah, a lot of stuff here. I'm, I think I'm talking about uh, a lot around uh, around VMware. Anyways, so you can see it on here. A lot of emails they are appearing. Um, yeah, maybe of course all the v VMware user groups, the VMware coding, and so on. So they keep loading because once again the back the Vim backup for Office 365 it is built in on Jet database or in object storage, if you are leveraging object storage, meaning that the search it just needs to build uh, build directly from the metadata and, and all the items, they will be there so, uh, shown. So you can see that it can, uh, yeah, it's just loading all of them. It says that it's 100 because uh, it's probably have more results than 100. You can always click here and then it will find as many as, um, well, as many as the user uh, the user has, you see, 140 by now, it might be 200 and so on. So I can just do right here and select all of these, for example, and that one and that one, be this specific and say, you you can restore them back to the user, you can restore them back to the same user, different folder, to a different user, different folder. You can export it as a .pst, you can export it um, as well, save them as a dot message because of course we're talking around um, emails and you can always send them directly within this platform, send them into another user or into the same into the same users. That's because these are emails. If we're talking about contacts, then what you can do is the usual as well, save it as a dot PST. Same for the calendar appointments on here. Uh, you can see uh, a lot of appointments on here and you can save them just be granular and select the ones that you want. Just directly save them into PST. So I hope you like it. Uh, the all the options that uh, that that this product has. I haven't shown you the fully the, the full 40 scenarios, but I try to show you the most critical ones, specifically around exchange, uh, because I'm pretty sure that that's where. Uh, a backup admin, he will spend the, mo the, the most time uh, answering, you know, Jira tickets or Remedy tickets around um, items that had been had been deleted by by the user, by by the kids coming to the computer, by mistake on within the within the synchronizations on the phones, and so on and so forth. So I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please uh, please let me know at Jorge at Vim.com. Thank you. Bye.